everybody, Trevor here, and... Wait, why am I a Goomba? If you're not watching the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, you're gonna turn into a Goomba! Oh yeah, that's right. I never watched the Super Mario Brothers Super Show as a kid. Oh well. Anyway, speaking of which, last week, I've watched the premiere of the brand new Super Mario Brothers movie in the movie theater on April 5th. And let me tell you, it was fantastic. The animation is vibrant, the characters are likable, relatable, and memorable, and I even love the classic nods and references to previous Mario games such as Mario Kart, as well as Charles Martinet's brief performances as a few characters. Which reminds me of Stanley's cameos in the past Marvel movies if you ask me. In fact, it is a huge improvement over the live-action one from the 1990s, which sucked, by the way. And because I enjoyed watching the new movie last week, I decided to make a brand new top 5 about my favorite Nintendo characters. And don't worry, my Goomba avatar won't be part of this list, I promise. Now without wasting any more time, let's jump right into my favorite picks for Nintendo characters, shall we? Number 5 is a tie between Mario and Luigi. I've decided to put these guys as number 5 because for one thing, they're the main heroes of the Mario franchise. Secondly, they're brothers and are both plumbers from Brooklyn. And thirdly, their designs remain the same for many decades, which in my opinion is a good thing because I don't want them to end up like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro the Dragon when it comes to bad reboots of video games. Another thing I like about these two was that they were originally voiced by Charles Martinet, but in the movie, Mario was voiced by Chris Pratt and Luigi by Charlie Day. And in my opinion, they did an overall good job voicing them, though I still would have preferred the original Charles Martinet because he's the most memorable of the Mario voices. Number 4 is Princess Peach. Also known as Princess Toadstool in the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, Princess Peach is technically the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom, and in the video game series, she would often get captured by the evil Bowser, and it's up to Mario and Luigi to save her from captivity. One thing I like about Princess Peach is that she's pretty and sweet, and she's also my big sister's favorite Mario character. But in the Super Mario Bros. movie of 2023, she's no longer a typical damsel in distress, and is instead a warrior princess who wants to save her kingdom from Bowser's control. I know some people don't like this change to her character, and I completely understand that, but personally, I don't mind it at all. Even though I prefer her as a damsel in distress as usual, but I think she's a lot more badass in the movie like the way she wields that battle axe while walking next to Toad, who is wielding a frying pan. How cool is that? Like the voices of Mario and Luigi, I think the new voice actress for Princess Peach does an excellent job too. I like it as much as the original from the video games. And in my own head canon, Princess Peach used to be a damsel in distress, but soon learns to become independent and strong just in case no one is there to save her. And maybe someday, she can save her friends, especially Mario, Luigi, and Toad. Number 3. Donkey Kong When I was younger, I used to play Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color all the time. It was a pretty fun game, though I wished I grew up with the original version on the Super Nintendo. But I was only a toddler back then, so I was too little to play video games at the time. I also played Donkey Kong Countries 2 and 3 on the Game Boy Advance and I enjoy them as much as the first one because of the cool soundtrack. In addition, I remember watching some of the episodes of the Donkey Kong Country show back in the late 1990s, and to be fair, it didn't really age very well in terms of the computer graphics. In fact, they're about as cheap and dated as the motion capture series of J.J. the Jet Plane. Let's talk about his performance in the new movie. I know Seth Rogen is a controversial figure at this point, but personally, I think he did a decent job as Donkey Kong. I especially love the Now You Die meme from one of the trailers. And in my opinion, I like him much better as a good guy rather than a bad guy like in the first Mario game where he throws barrels at Mario. And those are all the reasons why Donkey Kong deserves the number 3 spot. Number 2 is Pikachu. You may remember my top 5 anime video where I put Pokemon as my 5th favorite anime of all time. And as stated in that video, I liked the characters, the music scores, 
some of the games that I played, and the overall action. One of my favorite Pokemon characters is Pikachu himself. The reason he's number two is because, for one thing, he's very cute and adorable. And secondly, he's the mascot for the Pokemon franchise. One of my favorite moments was when he uses Thundershock to electrocute his enemies, including Team Rocket. Now, I know some people were upset that Ash Ketchum is no longer the main hero of the franchise and is being replaced by two new characters, but for me, as much as I like Ash, I'm actually glad he's retiring as the main protagonist because for one thing, he barely ages, and furthermore, I'm actually sick and tired of him being the main hero of every single generation of the Pokemon anime. That's why I prefer the manga and video game versions, because at least they focus on entirely different characters, you know, besides Ash. And to an extent, I still like Pokemon in terms of the mainline video game series. I just don't watch the anime that much anymore. But Pikachu himself will always be one of my favorite Nintendo characters because of these reasons alone. And thankfully, they're still using him as the mascot for the show, but instead wears a captain's hat and is known as Captain Pikachu, which sounds pretty cool if you ask me. Before I get to my number one pick, I just want to give a few honorable mentions. Bowser. I honestly wanted to include him on this list, but because there's no room for him in this top five, I'll save him for another video, which might be my top five favorite video game villains. Link from Legend of Zelda. Unfortunately, I never played any of the Zelda games, so I don't really have an opinion on the franchise. Not to mention the confusing timeline of the series, which is probably even more confusing than Kingdom Hearts. Toad. I couldn't think of a reason to add him to the list, so therefore, I admitted him. And my number one most favorite Nintendo character is... Yoshi. While Pikachu is my second favorite in terms of cuteness, Yoshi is number one because, in my opinion, he's the cutest of them all for many reasons. While I never owned a Nintendo 64 as a kid, but thankfully, I got a chance to try it out numerous times at my uncle's farmhouse, where one of his sons owned one and lets us play with it. Two of my favorite games that I played were Mario Kart 64 and Yoshi's Story. What makes Yoshi so cute and adorable is his voice by Kazumi Totaka particularly in most games like Yoshi's Story. I'm just not a fan of his other voice from Mario Kart 64, which is just sound effects or something. I mean, every time I hear Yoshi's high-pitched voice, I get overloaded with cuteness. It just makes me want to hug and cuddle with the character himself. How Yoshi attacks is simple. He could either jump onto enemies or throw spy Yoshi eggs at them from a distance. In addition, there are a variety of different colors of Yoshi, besides green of course. Others include dark blue, light blue, yellow, pink, red, and black, just to name some. There's also Yoshi's Crafted World for the Nintendo Switch, but I haven't played it yet because I can't afford it at the moment. But here's also hoping that they'll one day remaster Yoshi's story but with updated gaming graphics like they did with the other Mario games. Now let me know in the comments section on which of these Nintendo characters are your favorite. Do you agree with my list, or do you have your own personal preference? I also would like to know your thoughts on the new Super Mario Bros. movie too. I don't know what my next top 5 will be, but it won't be Easter themed because that holiday is already over for the year. How about you guys give me ideas for brand new ones in the comments section below. But don't rush me, okay? This is Trevor Davis, signing off.